Hi, this is Sadna, catching you again and again and again with our cat Sadna in our personality interview segment. We have various personalities from different fields. In order, today we are going to interview the most interesting and enthusiastic educationist turned very, very, very successful entrepreneur. Hope by this time you would have guessed, yes, he is none other than Pani Ji Swami. Very fine, uh, nice sir. seeing you. Okay, <laughs> okay sir. Uh, so, what about your family background, sir? Everyone knows that your uh, education is turned entrepreneur. What is your family background, sir? You know, I am uh, from uh, Namakal, Salem district. Okay. I was born in the in a village called Mudugapati. Oh. Then I have uh, uh, I am married and I have four daughters. And they are highly Basically, educated. Your family background, your father, you know, they belong to farmers, the landlords. The landlords. I mean, they, they, we, are, we are land uh, the community, and uh, we are agriculture family. Okay. And uh, from there, I went to so, college. Being uh, from uh, brown and brought up from an agriculture family, what made you to try out in economics fields? Sir? Because I don't know because a uh, because I strongly believe mm -hmm. that. Uh, yeah, as a basic uh, member of the agriculture family, I felt the Indian growth is facilitated by economic development. And I needed to know more about it because India is an agriculture country. And based being an agriculture country, uh, the growth develops, uh, growth takes place in agriculture. Okay. From educationist, you have turned as a very successful entrepreneur. I don't know it is by accident. <laughs> okay. By accident. It is, uh, I would say that it's my desire was to come back to India. Okay. To do something uh, positive, to generate employment. I wanted to know whether I should go into public life or in industrial field. Okay. And uh, the late MGR. Yeah. Opened up an opportunity and uh, he said uh, if I wanted to start some industry, he invited me over to start okay. industries. So by accident you became an entrepreneur? Yes. I mean, you did not have any idea? Before. I didn't have an idea of coming back to India okay. to do business, <laughs> to start industries. Because you were in US and you were born and brought up in India. So what difference do you find between these two? I think um, um, I would suggest that uh, America is a very highly organized society okay. and they conform to the rules and regulations meticulously okay. and in India we are a bit uh, still not organized and many of the areas where we have learned to learn particularly discipline <laughs> and industrial discipline, office discipline and work ethics. Okay. I think uh, they are more serious minded people, they are highly managerial. So we need to learn something. We we'll learn uh, something. On the other hand, uh, our people are hard working and uh, willing to do anything. Okay. Yeah. So your comfort level is fine in both areas. I think uh, this is our mother country and I have to be comfortable and I feel very happy to be with our people. Okay. Everyone is aware that you are the person who bought uh, MGR from America as fit as he was before and you were throughout with him. All that has been known. But first time, where did you meet him? I met him in Washington in 1974. Okay. Because I was the president of the Tamil community. Okay. So I had the privilege of uh, receiving him at... Uh, Dallas International Airport in Washington oh. <laughs> as a, a representative of the Tamil community. And uh, it was very matter-of-fact reception. Oh. Then something which he did uh, greatly appealed to me. Okay. Uh, we were, uh, many of us, mm -hmm. of course, 
and the chief minister of the state and a <laughs> popular actor and all that. Yeah, of course. And uh, so we had several cards. Uh, uh, we had, uh, oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah, there were many people and uh, we wanted him to come to our cars. Mm. You know, of course, we were uh, having expensive cars <laughs> and uh, and uh, as we reached, uh, there was a protocol officer mm. uh, deputed by the government of Amer American government okay. to escort uh, MGR. Mm. Then uh, when he reached, he got in, he wanted to get into that car the other car. Okay. It was very simple car. But it was the official car. Official car. And we said, no, no, that's not comfortable. Why mm. don't you come here? He said, no, no, I am the guest of the government and I must really respect, uh, the government. respect and uh, I 